Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and the same person that sent me that Indian headdress logo person uh, sent me this also, and I didn't know if he needed help, but I was going to clean this up, kind of show him how to do it. You can see how fuzzy it is. And I've done it, and I don't know if that's the way he wanted it. I actually made the letters uh, white to kind of match that. And this time I'm actually going to put a white background around it like this. So what we can do is I'm not going to do anything to this. It's already small. It's already pretty big. I'm going to go to Outline Trace Clip Art, and I'm going to trace it, and I'm going to nudge that out of the way. And what I'm going to do now is go to Object, Order, Ungroup, and I'm going to take that green. I'm going to nudge it down. That's really all we need. I don't really have to nudge that. We don't need that garbage. We could actually make it a little bit bigger if we want to make it. Now we need to go and left click, right click. Corel does not trace text very good. So now we're gonna to go to object and break the curve apart and we can actually grab those letters and delete them. We can always type two letters. Take your pick tool or your text tool and just type WB in all caps, make it about the appropriate size, go up to your fonts, change it. I'm gonna change it to college block. I think that's what it is. It looks pretty good. And that's pretty close. We can go ahead and go um, Control K to break them apart because these letters are a little bit staggered on the, on the, that might be a little bit too big. It'd almost be better to put them in there before you even do anything. Let's put this letter up here and put this letter up here and you've got it done. Now, what I would suggest is go ahead and take all that and left click, right click, bring it in your smart fill tool get your eyedropper and take a sample from that green, put it over here and then fill in those two blue. That project is really done. That's a, I don't know if it's gonna print or engrave, but if you're gonna print it, you can make this black in lieu of that and then just fill in those with black. But if he wants it like, more like the, the uh, logo is at first, take your smart fill tool, set it on white and fill that in with white. And then if you wanted a white part around there, which I don't really know, I'm gonna set my nudge factor on four. I'm gonna select them. I'm gonna select all this and put a boundary around it. And I'm gonna nudge it over. Now I can go, I can do a lot of things. I can go to effects and contour. I can contour to the outside, let's say 0.25 and see what that looks like. No, to the outside, I had it set to the inside. That's a little bit too much, so let's go, let's like 0.15 to the outside. That looks okay. And then I can do two things. One, I can just take my smart fill tool and fill that in with white and move it over. Now, there's a good, that's, I'm almost glad that happened. The smart fill tool quit working because my box stopped it. It, it saw these red lines, so let's make our yellow box a little bit longer. Let's take the Smart Fill tool and fill in this with white. So there's two ways you could do this. You could do that, and that's exactly what we have. Or, let's just back up here. Let's take the color out of these W and the B, and we could just uh, take this and fill the, make the whole thing, make the whole thing white. Let's take away the outline. And it's really still there. So what we really need to do is probably back up. Uh, let's back up one more time. Let's go up and take the contour apart. Sometimes you'll have to select the whole thing. Go up to object. Break the three objects apart. Get rid of that center line. And now we could fill all this in with white. Take away the outline and then nudge that over, go up to object, order, back a page. We see our yellow is actually, so now we have to take our yellow and put our yellow in the back of page. So now we got three layers, but that way there's a white on the, white showing through, white showing through, so the green's just on top of it. I hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.